What is up, everybody? Ben here, One Take Thoughts. And I'm actually coming to you with a one take thought. A whole video, no edits. At least we'll see. So, as you can th see through the title of the video, this is about Donald Trump. Um, basically, I just want to give my thoughts on uh, the current events that have happened in the last few months. Um, and uh, just tell you where I'm coming from and why I am voting for Donald Trump. I haven't been very vocal about the fact that I support Donald Trump for the last eight years. I've supported Donald Trump, you know, throughout his whole uh, his whole campaign from 2016 up till up to 2020 and now 2024. Um, I've I've been there. I'm a Trumpster, okay? I'm a Trumpite, in the words of Hulk Hogan. I uh, but I had to look at why I support him. I had to look at, you know. Do I do I support him just because my family supports him, or do I support him because he's got legislation that I agree with and that I believe that he will be a better candidate than who we have right now in office? Um, and I have to go through all that. I have to process it, of course, and I have. And this is what I've come to. I believe that the 2024 election is going to be one that, if it's not rigged, should be a landslide, okay? I believe that Trump should win by a huge majority vote, um, electoral and popular vote. I believe he should just destroy the whole voting polls. I believe that, you know, if it's if it's a legitimate process, he is going to win by a lot. Now, on that, on the fact that he is gonna win by a lot, you know, and the fact that people do seem to support him well, what about the people who are Biden supporters? Well, first of all, I don't even know if I really know more than two or three Biden supporters. Maybe five in my, maybe I've met five Biden supporters that I'm, you know, relatively acquainted with. I live in a very red area, but in a very blue state. Um, but I have not come across a lot of Biden supporters. I think most Biden supporters are probably pretty embarrassed to support Biden at this point. And I think that they should be, okay? I don't want to divide the country and say that oh, all Biden supporters are this or that because there's a lot of good Biden supporters out there, you know, there's a lot of good Trump supporters, there's a good and bad of all groups, okay? But at this point, if you are a Biden supporter, I would really just, I would encourage you to really look at the facts in a very critical and non-biased manner, okay? As I have done with Trump look at Biden and just look at it and and don't just have the don't just come into it with the fact that oh well I always support blue I'm always going to support Democrat don't come in with that okay look at the facts look at who is going to be a president you uh, here's the choice are you going to take a dementia riddled person who cannot even get off the stage half the time and has to be walked off the stage that's that's fact. That's not just something up in the air. That's actual fact. Watching you video, can barely stand up. He'll fall over on stairs, fall over on a bicycle. Or are you going to take someone who will take a bullet for the country? He's not taking a bullet for the cause. He's taking a bullet for the country. This is not a hard decision, okay? Critically thinking, just put on your critical thinking goggles here for a minute and look at the fact that you have a dementia riddled grandpa who is falling off of his bicycle and off of the stairs and can and has to be walked everywhere and has to be pumped with all these drugs and then you have another president who has shown for the last eight years that he's willing to be persecuted to be hated to be insulted to be criminalized to be spit upon by a huge majority of the people for what he believes is right and good for the country he holds this he holds to many good and respectable policies um, and more than that he seems to have a character that is actually pretty pretty good people always point out oh well he was this and he was that we're not all perfect okay but trump has clearly over the last eight years really he's changed a lot first of all he's not the same trump that was at 2016 you know he and he he's not the same trump that he was in 2020 he's a he's he's a changed man and especially after what happened last week with the assassination attempt. I implore anybody who supports Biden to really critically look at the facts here. 
you have someone who is willing to take a bullet for the country or you have somebody who is not at all intimidating any of the world access leaders like Putin or um, President Xi, Xi Jinping in China. He's not, uh, he's not intimidating Kim Jong-un, okay? He's not intimidating any of those folks. By, or Trump, Trump showed that he was the man. People don't mess with Trump. People don't give a crap about Biden. Look at what's happening with Russia and look what's happening with Israel and Gaza or Hamas. Well, our world is about to be set on fire because of Biden's, and I, I, Biden's administration, but a lot of what Biden has done. Our world is being set on fire a lot, a lot by his policies. Look at the fact that the 57% inflation rate with market, like going to the market, 50, 57% price increase at the market. So that means like if a piece of bread was $3, it's now close to, what is it, $4.50. If my math is correct, which I believe that is. And that just does, that doesn't just apply for bread. You know, that applies for everything. I think it's like the average family, the increase like total is like $36,000. People can't afford a $36,000 increase in their life. They can't pay, they can't do make those payments, okay? And I feel it, I'm a business owner. I feel this the continual beating down of everything, the taxes, the inflation. And I don't have to just do a lot to support myself, but I'm seeing it and I'm feeling it. And I think that, you know, I, I'm, I'm a pretty green guy, you know, I'm only 21, so I'm pretty young. But I think just looking at the facts critically and not holding to our biases, we have to support Trump. Everybody does. Trump is no longer a one-sided leader. He's a, he's a world leader. And more than that, he's America's leader and he's who America needs. Not just who the Republicans need, but who the, the whole world needs Trump. In office okay that's my thought that's my one take thought do you agree with me do you disagree let me know in the comments I'd love to answer any questions that you might have or if you have an argument that you'd like to present to me I'd love to be able to answer that well anyways guys I'm gonna sign off but as always it's great to great to post a video every like six months or so <laughs> I'll try to be a little bit more uh, I'll try to be a little bit more active okay I'll try to post some more videos um, it's just been busy. But anyways, guys, have a great night and uh, take it easy.